actually we are building everything for a faceless nameless thumb but if i can't hook a human being to use my form factor then what is the point if that biryani image doesn't make me hungry <laughs> that has not done my job how do you create a design first culture in companies you actually start talking about it who cares about rules <laughs> har aap black background hona chahiye aur har aap mein teen click hona chahiye har aap mein teen click hona chahiye why <laughs> as long as you're ethical you're compliant as long as you're secured but then break the rule na love it Shovik such a pleasure to have you here on the yellow couch I've been trying to get you on the couch for a while and it's a really really happy moment for me that you're finally here one because you've never been to our office and two of course because of the yellow couch shoot I have known you for about a year now and uh, it was because we were working together on building quite a exceptional experience in the prop tech space and one of the things that stayed with me Uh, of the experience of working with you is your ability to manage the need to innovate with uh, meeting real world business requirements and the way i saw you navigate that tough balance was really inspiring for me because i have spent 20 years of uh, you know my life doing this and i have uh, never found that balance uh, to be you know in the right kind of place most people are on one side or the other mm. mostly they tend to drop the idea of innovation halfway through the project mm. because the business goals become all too real yeah so i guess i want to kick off by asking you the fact that you're heading real businesses at the chatterjee group with real targets uh, kpis to address the board to uh, report to how are you able to keep a handle on and create the environment for innovation at the TCG group and also as part of the project that we were working on firstly it was it's fabulous to be Thank in you. this very colorful office i thrive on the concept of a connectedness mm. in this planet yeah. you know i'm i'm not a networker but if i connect with somebody mm. my heart draws before my head i have seen that i'll tell you one of the reasons why business and the age of invention and innovation is incomplete without experience and design see i've always been a technologist all my life and um, i'm from that age where mirc ui was opening up the new world of internet wow. where the cluttered yahoo interface yeah. was thriving the mindset of people before google even existed yeah now where PayPal's clean four step process was going to change the world of digital payments yeah. right and then of course you start growing with consumer internet mm. and internet becomes part of a commodity in your life and then you build businesses around that which is fundamentally been my last 24 years and then you realize that what are you building actually if you if i just break it down mm. into simple simple thought processes yes. let's take the dot com world sure. which has now moved into app e- economy social media economy actually we are building everything for a faceless nameless thumb mm. yeah if we just well bare said. bone cut everything out yeah what are we building everything is whether it's a social media platform whether it's an e-commerce giant whether it's a brick and mortar retailer wanting a presence on the net whether it's the banking eco- industry wanting a presence on the net everything we are hmm. doing where the where the instrument of internet is there we're building it for faceless nameless thumbs hmm. so when you're building it for faceless nameless thumb there's a human being behind that yeah there's a human brain behind that thumb hmm. Hmm. so ultimately it's your look it's your fabric of aesthetics it's every color palette mm. it's every journey it's mm. every widget these things i mm. started realizing over the last 20 years these things starts making more sense mm. the underlying tech is extremely important the underlying business models are extremely important but if i can't hook a human being mm. to use my form factor then what is the point so then i started indexing 
in whatever whatever businesses I have been building over the last few years that technology will always be a commodity mm. it will keep changing it will keep becoming better and better newer dimensions will open today we are talking about you know, experiential reality today we are talking about brain computing interface mm. today we are not talking about AI as being aspirational anymore yeah. today AI is starting to become a little bit commodity yeah. Yeah. 10 years down the line, BCI might start to become that hmm. commodity or experiential reality. Yeah, yeah. And for all you know, we are heading towards a technology space which we can't even think yeah. or it's not got invented yet. So technology will keep on going through that. But to a normal man, to a Joe Blog down the road or to a, you know, to a average Indian hmm. who has got 100 billion smartphones, 400 and types of makes hmm. and models, you have to focus on design and aesthetics as a primer facey mm. goal. If I just take some popular examples, how an OTT platform, we've got in India 30 plus OTT platforms, how an OTT platform looks on a Xiaomi OnePlus mm. to how it looks on a iPhone 14 Pro and 15 Pro Plus to what it looks on a Lenovo mm. Legion laptop is completely different. Yeah. Now, that guy might be mm. looking at uh, let's let's get some examples in Mirzapur 3 <laughs> in the middle of 40 degrees wow. sun wo ped ke niche, mm. he is watching Pankaj Tripathi mm. Usme light is different phone ka screen is different wow, well said. Mm. and the mindset of that individual who's from the heartland of India on a 10 to 15,000 rupees handset mm. is looking at Pankaj Tripathi differently than yeah. Saurav and Shovek sitting in a living room and looking at a 70 inch screen mein Pankaj Tripathi emoting. <laughs> so the fabric of texture of mm. how I get to that is changing. Wow. Dimensions are changing. Mm. Screen types are changing. As a result, design in my mind is now becoming it should be designed first. Mm. It, there was used to be a day when we used to say mobile first. Yeah. Abhi people are saying it should be AI first. I would say the age is coming when it will be designed first. Design first. Mm. Shavik, how did you create your eye for design? I mean, you were a tech guy. Yeah. Because most CEOs I talk to, especially who have had a tech background, yeah. they don't necessarily have the same kind of appreciation for design as you do. So how, how did you develop that? Was that your time spent abroad? Was that your childhood, your exposure to art? I think it's a mixture of everything. Hmm. A typical Banerjee growing up in a hmm. Bengali Calcutta. Yeah. There's always art. In, in it's all, you're, yeah. you, you grow up with art. Yeah. You grow up with paintings. Hmm. You grow up with music, yeah. audio sync. Yeah. You know, today if I see a reel where the audio is incorrect, I actually <laughs> jar away yeah. because you're tuned mm, yeah. right? you're, when you're impressionable age from two to six years mm. when your brain is very impressionable when you mm. can learn everything mm. you're taught music you're taught this is the art this is the you know the Jamini school of paintings yeah. this is yeah. how the writing of Tagore is mm. this is how the writing of you know um, mm. Jesse Bose is wow. mm. and uh, then you actually pick up. I have been I have been fascinated with Cal. Um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say pure play calligraphy. I am fascinated with cryptology. Mm. So at the young age, an academic father, your writing is very important to yeah. us. How many people write today? The mm. pens are going to become redundant apparently. Wow. So it started from there, and then with professional sports you are tuned to various types of environments. Oh, okay. So you are looking at the green grass, hmm. or you are looking at a white pad, <laughs> looking at a white set of clothing. Interesting. Then you change that around, you look. You're wearing a blue pad with a white ball with a dark screen, black screen. <laughs> it changes. But the green grass looks different in Whoa. the grounds of Chinnaswamy than the green grass looks in the leagues of Lancashire. That's so fascinating because your experience as a cricketer 
Help. had an impact on aesthetics. I'll well, I've never heard that. I'll, I'll tell you something. We used to think that April or May, mein na, how many matches will get washed out? And because we used to go there as a young amateur or professionals, I used to mow the grass. Mm. I used to mow the ground. So the color of the grass changing with summer coming in, used to, we used to know that the wicket is going to get harder. Oh. So you're... Wow. So you're you're, you're getting your, so tuned to picking the, out the correct, little differences. Correct. So you look at the sky, you know England, like it's an island, there is rain, but the summer is so precious. Mm. We used to think that, you know, 15th May, the sky color changes, <laughs> means the summer is properly, mm. we will not have a half game, we'll have a full game. And then of course I stayed in England for mm. 25 plus years and at a very young age I got exposed to mm. the early dot com play. So I could build my mm. in first two entrepreneurship stints were dot coms. So the, the palette of white, if you see the Google white is different than the white which gets yeah. used in other white yeah. form factors yeah. of Apple. The Google wide is different. Yeah. So slowly we realize that the look and feel is what the user is buying yeah. into. And then comics were part of life. Mm. So when you read comics, you are exposed to yeah. nine colors in two pages. Yeah. Your aesthetic palette is getting built. Aesthetic yeah. palette. Now I realized because I was a dot com entrepreneur at the beginning part of my life, ki if I show, example, I want to sell, which I have sold, when I was part of the Tara Digital team, when we mm. had Big Basket onboarded, mm. I can show a bhindi in one way. <laughs> I can show a one kg bhindi in a different way. Wow. However, I can show bananas in a different way. Yeah. If you put bananas in a black background, the, it pops. the, the, yeah. the it's a different banana six bunch of bananas. If you put apple ka redness in a different way with a white background, different white, it looks different because that is what the people are buying. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one last example before we move, we move on. In any food tech, I want to have biryani on a Saturday. I want to get hungry looking at the biryani imagery. Mm -hmm. I don't care usme e-commerce, how much is e-commerce, <laughs> payment success yeah. ratio is how much there, what is the logistic supply chain of TAT of delivery time. That if that biryani image doesn't make me hungry in all my popular e tech platforms, that has not done my job. Yeah, so, well said. I think like that. Wow. Maybe a lot of people are starting to think, but that is the right way we are going. On. Because mm. I think somebody like you, which I've learned immense in the last year, is how can I make the normal, boring thing look stunning? Yeah. And I've learned that from you. Because I was losing that. Yeah. And then thank you, you I met you. No, but thank you for allowing us to do that. And that's actually going to be my next question. That whenever I worked with you, I always felt that you gave us the environment to be more creative, to push the envelope. Yeah. And I can tell you that a lot of people talk that talk, but they don't walk that talk. When it actually comes to delivery, they change. They are yeah. like, no, sorry, let's just put creativity at a pause right now and let's talk real world, let's be safe. Correct. And one of the things I saw from you is you were always pushing us. You were always pushing us to break from the ordinary, despite the fact that uh, even some people maybe within your team also were not necessarily looking for that. Yeah, yeah. To continue to push the envelope and to also ensure that, you know, you have everybody's consensus. Yes was really amazing to see. So, what is the secret to, to doing that? Shall we? See, I'll tell you, and thank you. Thank you for your kind words. I simply believe that change is constant. Mm. 20, 2005, the dot com which looked something yeah. has to be different yeah. of a 2020 dot com yeah. or an app version of that. I'll give you how I actually think we should always break, break clutter is if you look at any global example, take Netflix. You know Netflix is black background. Mm. Netflix is fl splash is yeah. red and splash on black. Prime is blue and black. Netflix personalization mm. used to be very different. 
they used to be whatever you see yeah. is whatever we will recommend or let's take facebook or yeah. instagram today whatever i see is whatever i yeah. will see if i want to see you know master chef i will keep getting recommended more and more yeah. master chef yeah. related videos now if that is the n equal to 1 personalization game facebook netflix and instagram is playing or youtube mm. youtube may the type Same. of yeah. content you consume if you consume yeah. a certain type of podcast you mm. will be given that becomes a certain, part of your feed that's yeah. become part of it but that was always there now mm. you see how they are changing mm. slowly they have brought in merchandising capabilities yeah is all of you have to get out of that bubble mm. i don't know i don't want to see only my feed yeah slowly the widgetry changes mm. okay this is the most popular things india is watching mm. this is the most popular thing historically you have watched this is also aesthetics yeah. because how do you present that and where do you present that mm. do you present it in the first fold tv may you can't scroll tv may mm. you are not voicing so tv may you have to go through that boring yeah. uh, non invented form factor yeah. however on a ipad or a phone mm. i can just do this yeah imagine the changes earlier facebook used to trigger a lot of side scrolls yeah now facebook instagram youtube netflix ungli ko right mm. left karwana band kar diya yeah. now everything is so that is a is science yeah. people are spending you know months to research mm. how much scrolling so and then if you look at the design part of that if i don't want to give you the fourth scroll ke baad if i want to give you something super exciting to consume where you will spend one and a half minutes the aesthetics has to be wow. phenomenally different that's why aesthetics with personalization in one industry form factor is breaking mm. the clutter and that's why i am also le- i'm also learning that if i want to do anything in retail today if i was part of an organization where i had electronics chroma yeah. and click and all of them if you won't believe 2020 chroma store of india and 2024 ka chroma store of india is very different mm. today when you walk into a reliance digital or a chroma store you don't get to see the tvs and the microwaves on the right hand side oh, of the really? planogram Today you get to see headphones, mm. a little bit of smart accessories yeah. because you're warming up. Yeah. Because the user is more tuned to yeah. a great Bose headset or a great mm. accessory. So once you're warming up, they have put microwave and TV behind yeah, the aisle. The back, yeah. Ten years back, they used to be front, front of the aisle. Yeah. So physical brick and mortar mm. is changing. Look at the cars, how the aesthetics and design in cars are changing. Yeah. If you look at the Mahindra XUV <coughs> 700, the whole dashboard is yeah. completely a screen. However, mm. the Scorpio N is still a very traditional, rugged mm. with a electronic dashboard. Mm. But they are experimenting with the segment. So mm. Saurav and Shovik might be one persona. Mm. X and Y might be 28 year old, mm. one persona. One might be a Jhajhar Chandigarh persona, lot of money. One might be a jalpaiguri shiliguri persona middle class mm-hmm. so their look and feel is different mm-hmm. so i think we as business entrepreneurs we have to constantly invent an experiment mm-hmm. then we actually will come to a state ki theek hai 10 mm-hmm. people five are five are adopting it yeah. five will be my collateral damage i have to work differently mm-hmm. i think that is the only way to exist it's so becoming wow. so becoming thin and comparative yeah. you have to constantly think on aesthetics so in in a hyper competitive mm. landscape whether it's in prop tech or it's in retail and you work across the board yeah across geographies when we're sitting in 2024 what is your kind of set of hacks or secrets for mm. let me say digital experience success yeah. how do you win in the market today firstly keep your eye on eyes and ears on the ground mm. because at the end of the day you're selling yeah whether you're selling in direct to consumer or you're selling business to consumer yeah. or you're selling business to business you mm. still so 
example, the businesses we are doing today, mm. it's uh, community, community service, a lot of service, mm. commerce on the internet, a lot of co-living, mm. making people live together. So we have to understand what does the 27 year old from Panvel mm. to a 27 year old from Bandra East want? How do you figure that out? I mean, how do you really derive insight from the data? Because yeah. there's a difference, right? Yes, you know, so, yes. Right? so you are you will always get data. Hmm. But what you will know, see is typically where people are struggling and I'm not saying I've cracked the code, but at least I'm learning is typically you will look at 10 attributes of a human being. Where does he stay? Hmm. What sort of a background is he from? What is his share of wallet or mm. his yeah. drawings per month? Where does he stay means a lot, by the way. Yeah. If an individual stays in Magnolia in Gurgaon in Delhi to an individual staying in Arjun Marg in Delhi to an individual staying in somewhere in Greater Noida, you create a perception about yeah. that individual. He mm. might be a whiz kid or a millennial or a mm. you're absolute middle class Indian mm. but you create a perception yeah, yeah. but out of 10 times five times your perceptions will be right about mm. about these things if you're looking at the data so the basic attributes of human being stay wallet share of wallet what is his drawings what is his best attribute of transactions? So all these are demographic. These data. are demographic data. Yeah. Now you start looking at one level below. Mm. There are L1 data. Now if you look at L2 data, which is a little wider, mm. you will see that, you know, what is his food palette? Mm. What is his electricity consumption? Mm. Is he having five devices or six devices in the house? Interesting. Then you will see what sort of footwear he wears, what sort of clothing he wears. Is he a West Side mm. shopper or is he a Zara shopper? Is mm. he a mm. Zudio 49 rupees ka chappal pehne wala or is he a, you mm. know, Clark's ka 450 rupees chappal guy? Yeah. So yeah. this is the second data. Mm. Iske baad na, you have to experiment. You go with a hypothesis on certain amount of business models and designs mm. and you experiment. So pilots in a new business become very important. Mm. So then you pilot with a hypothesis, ki, this is my business. And this is, I'm saying it to my audience example in Pune, is my pilot city. So Pune has an understanding if it kind of gets adopted, 30 to 40 percent adoption is there, you're starting to make sense. Mm. You're crystallizing the hypothesis that this was my business model. I have understood this is what my offering to the, mm. my aspirational India is. Pune is a cohort, mm. Pune is a very different city. Mm. Pune ke liye, we will make this. If it works in Pune, I will try to replicate 50% of that in mm. Bombay and 50% will be very Bombay specific. Yeah. Or yeah. then I replicate 40% in Delhi and make it 60% mm. Delhi or, you know, mm. Chandigarh or whichever metro city or then tier one, tier two city specific. You're constantly in a new business. You have to love ambiguity. <laughs> well said. You have to love, love ambiguity, ambiguity because India is so dynamic. Wow. India has got so many Indias within. Mm. It's so much fun to build a business in India, mm. but it's, it's also 100x more challenging. Challenging. Very challenging. One of the things I noticed in our discussions when we were building the experience was um, you kept reminding me and the team that we are catering to the 1% yeah. of the communities. Yeah. Even though they were cases where we were getting pulled in different yeah, directions yeah, yeah. and that the experience should be for everyone. Correct. Right. And um, usually uh, that's the beginning of the end yes. for a lot of experiences. Yes. But what I saw from you was unlike what I experienced in most projects in India is you refused to fall into that trap and you kept saying, no, guys, let's let me remind you, who are we designing for? It's for the 1%. Uh, and so how do you uh, avoid this trap of designing for everyone? Yeah. Uh, because I guess it, you know, from a business standpoint, it, it almost feels like you're somehow losing out on the 99%. Mm. Uh, 
um, so, which is what I've experienced a lot. So I'll tell you, Zorro, I, I have a very different philosophy on this. I'll give you two examples. If I tell you ki India may 10 pin codes, northern part of India ka pura television industry run karta hai. Wow, I didn't know that. So the pin codes of Lokhandwala, Juhu, Bandra East, Bandra West, Khar mm. is running northern India ka television and entire OTT wow. industry. Wow. <laughs> Thus pin code. I'll give you one more example. This is the best example. This is an American example. The state of California has Los Angeles. Mm. One large city and one large state has GDP is plus 13 yeah. of America mm. pulls mm. US, right? That ek state gives you Hollywood. Mm. The entire tech, big tech. Theme park. Yeah. Disney World say Universal Studio, the entire theme park. Mm. It's multi, multi, multi billion dollar industry. Hollywood, multi, multi, multi billion dollar. Oh, by the way, that is Silicon Valley also. Yeah. <laughs> It is also prevalent if you see the entire system integrator story of India. Mm. When all Narayan Murthy's and mm. the Ramdurai's and Azum Premji's created TCS, Vipro, Cognizant, sorry, uh, Infosys. Cognizant actually has got a huge headquarter, mm. but the analogy I have. It's centered around Chennai. Yeah. Mm. It never had a major presence in Bangalore. So then now Infosys set up this space in Bangalore. There was no Gurgaon Infosys. Yeah. There was no indoor Infosys or there's no Pune TCS. So bef when we were known ki we are exporting Indian engineering talent. It was basically from It was that nothing. It was basically pin 20 pin codes. Yeah. That's what we will mm. miss out. If, you, if I tell you that Titan and Titan Group with Taneshk is such a large jewelry PNL for us. In the country, it's a it's a it's a phenomenal Kia and Tanesh. Mm. It's a, if it's a multi-billion dollar yeah. uh, brand, last I remember it was I think fifty plus thousand crore brand. Wow. It's all getting manufactured under the great. It started and under, under C K Venkat and under before the great Bhaskar Bhatt handed over. It's all in the cohorts of Bangalore, really? in the Hosurs and mm. outskirts of Bangalore. It's weird how nano local yeah. pin codes run multi billion yeah, dollar industry. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we generalize, you know, Indians just say it for the sake of saying it, we think that, you know, Paytm is used by everybody in India. It's not everybody. No, mm. India is 150, mm. 1.5 1. billion, billion yeah. which is 150 crores, mm. out of which sort of 700 crore people in India are only using internet. Mm. It's actually 50%. And the e-commerce and the entire payments and mm. all of the it's work. another that, subset of that. Which is another 600 million. That is mm. post-COVID. So another 50, 60, mm. 70 crore of India is still not digitally savvy. Wow. However, they do have broadband. They do have 4G, mm. but they don't use it. So when I say that you want to build a business, you have to look at, you want to build a profitable business. So I would rather make it for these 300 million or these 100 million users who will spend money to buy a pair of shoe or a watch mm. or a colib or a mm. grocery or footwear or clothing or watches. I would rather build a business for that because mm. if I look at the pan India landscape, India is still growing. But India is, let me, let me just give you a simple parlance. US is 35 crores. 35 crore people live in US. India, 150 crore people live in India. So we are in size, in population, a very different market. So one of the things I've picked up from you, and maybe I should make this a kind of a methodology in design, is you think in pin codes. Yes, I think in pin codes. Because you are so alive to the nuances and differences of behavior in the nano. Correct. And the hyper local. Correct. Uh, that you refuse to generalize and loosely throw the word around uh, everyone, everybody. Yeah. Which is one of, I think, the biggest challenges with design. Yeah. Is this loosely throwing around that this is for everyone, everybody will use it, everyone thinks like but this. But sort of you think, now nah, we've, we've got this typical hangover because we are, you know, we are design students yeah. of 
what we are building businesses on this is a typical thinking har aap white hon, white background hona chahiye <laughs> और देर इज अनदर माइंड सेट हर आप ब्लैक बैकग्राउंड होना चाहिए और हर आप में तीन क्लिक होना चाहिए हर आप में तीन क्लिक होना चाहिए व्हाई वेयर इज इंस्टाग्राम फॉलोइंग दैट रूल इंस्टाग्राम में इंस्टाग्राम में देयर इज नो नेवर एंडिंग क्लिक 40 मिनट्स मिस्टर एंड मिसेस बिफोर गोइंग टू बेड लाइंग ऑन द सेम बेड बिफोर गो सेइंग गुड नाइट और आर स्पेंडिंग ड्वेल टाइम ऑफ 40 मिनट्स 30 मिनट्स एग्नोस्टिक टू द क्लिक करेक्ट एंड ऐसा नहीं है कि वहां से क्लिक करके दे आर गोइंग एंड बाइंग समथिंग they just consuming good content yeah. it's a good time pass instagram is the biggest time pass of the planet today yeah. and tiktok yeah. which is not in india and mm. now how do i monetize time pass mujhe to wo 40 minute mein paisa banana hai usi time pass se usi ungli se mere ko paisa nikalna hai so the, how do i do that if i give him the same boring palette and if i give him the same aesthetics they will just yeah. move on so that's the challenge mm. if you don't have design first thinking mm. you will not be able to understand the faceless nameless thumb it is going to become mm. the most important discussion point in the years to come so shovik how do you create a design first culture in companies you actually start talking about it When especially you, from the top right especially from the top mm. and so it's easier at your organization no i because think, the ceo is talking about it no but also sometimes beyond me say suppose the board if there is a group mm. involved if there is a group chairman involved you actually sense check that how much they all are design mm. lovers mm. they all like a great shirt mm. they all like a great watch they all like but a great but they may not be articulating it they today. might not mm. never will be articulating mm. some are shy by the way some are extremely shy in presenting themselves yeah. some there's a lot of people like that but if you can extract the buying in mm. ki i am thinking like this mm. is it okay to paint that new two multi storied you are painting not completely white but with a palette and a strike of blue in it nothing wrong mm. but the question is somebody had to take that plunge and because of my risk appetite i always ensure that alignment on design starts from absolute top they might not understand yeah. it and that's okay mm. if they if they are okay in encouraging you to do that then i as a leader of the pack should inculcate the culture first start talking mm. second is start reading and knowing about the world mm. so you know what i and you always loved was we said that let's create a feature which has never been seen yeah. in india and we created a wonderful feature mm. and which is a very different way to navigate yeah. right just to just for a teaser purposes for our audiences we can say that you know the whole navigation routine of the app's landing mm. screen should be invented in a way and of course the zooks team was phenomenal in giving us a framework of what we should be doing phenomenal work and we all got excited everybody who had never seen it all fell for it but i had to work with yeah. you and say to you and the team saying that let's create a new navigation we feature which never india has yeah. seen before somebody did it when they moved from white to black somebody did it when iconization was important so we have we have to keep doing so this so the second is the risk taking ability yeah first is talking about it third is very important is actually you got to read and know what yeah. the world is so get exposed get exposed to to the best stuff that's out there absolutely mm. if if i and you can say you know let's not follow the pantone color of the year let's think about what else color yeah. in the, of the year should work at least people should know what pantone yeah. color of the year is <laughs> they don't even know that so if you that's don't it. know the rules you can't break the rules that's correct if you need to know the rules to break the rules that's very well said number 2 mm. is who cares about rules mm. people like us our generation before it put some guardrails mm. i would rather use the word guardrails ki this is the guardrail mm. lose rules lose rules lose rules mm. stay within it as long as you're ethical yeah you are compliant as long as you are secured but then break the rule na mm. nobody has wow. written it out on a on a bible that we have to follow this rule and that rule everybody who has invented and created world class businesses has changed the way design has been i mean we all are apple fans mm. 
But at the end of the day, Johnny Ivey now has started working on Airbnb. <laughs> and look at the way Airbnb is shaping yeah. up. Who said an Airbnb was, is gold standard of yeah. look and feel, right? Yeah. So I think, I think rules are important, but design may not. It's a contradiction, to be honest. Mm. Design may what sort it of a is, rule would you It is a contradiction. Is it, is it, does it also have something to do with hiring people who already have a bit of that design sensibility? I mean, do you look out for that when you hire for TCG? You know what, I, not only for TCG, but before also, in my interview process, Mena, everything is, I always say that your LinkedIn profile and your resume is the reason I am interviewing you. Yeah. Obviously, you are very mm. good, you have been good, shortlisted. Let's, let, I ask the first question to any inter, any, anybody who is interviewing with me is, who are you? Mm. I said, you have to answer me, who are you? Outside LinkedIn or your resume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your resume or your LinkedIn ke bahar bolo, who are you? Six out of ten times people will go back to the yeah, resume. Yeah. <laughs> I have studied this. No, I, I actually want to experience. ask, I sometimes ask them, what was your favorite color when you were with your mother? Interesting. When you are seven year old, wow. we're, all, we're all mothers, mm. boys and girls. Mothers have an influence, fathers have an influence. What is the color of your gifts? Which your father used to pack. What wow. sort of wrapping paper used to your father used to pack? What sort of wrapping what paper your question. mom used to pack for your friends? What was your school tiffin box color? Wow. You know, some people become emotional in these questions. Mm. Because of course, some have lost their parents. Yeah. Some have got parents not well. But I mean, if I ask you, sort of, what was the color of your tiffin box when you're in <laughs> grade five? You and I will become emotional, man. I don't have both of them. I have lost both of them. But it tells me how passionate mm. they were to that yellow colored pencil box. Yeah. Because they are thinking on design style. Yeah. And then I ask them, what actually challenges you faced in life? Mm. Some people will say, Paise ka baut problem tha mera. I have faced a lot of financial crunch. Mm. Half of India, 90% mm. of India, same story. We all have gone through that humble middle class background. I said, what do you do? How did you come out? How did you do your masters? How did you crack such mm. a fan fantastic world class first job? Mm. Name, I told myself. I, one day I told myself, some few friends gave me a lot of grief. So some have, everybody's got different triggers. What I end up getting is the human being. Yeah. See, by next 30, 40 minutes, now I've got mm. the human being. Because really get to the core. At least I can bet on the guy mm. basic experience ki isme 30-40 taka transparency. You, you're doing accelerated ethnography actually. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. Their yeah. Which is a hardcore design research which is, process. Which is the only reason yeah. and you know you we have got a great common friend. He does the same. Mm. Sid does the same. And all I have not invented it. I have learnt it. Mm. I have learnt it from great Wow. Leaders across the world. Good part is I have worked with 20, 30 different leaders from different parts of the world, including India. And at the end of the day, people build businesses. Mm. People will build the business. Yeah. This office is about those 50, yeah. 60 people. They are building the business. Yeah. Without them, they are just empty chairs. Their right and left brain is the power. Mm. Whether you do a transactional commercial business, whether you do entertainment, films, sports, it's people actually. And weirdly, if anybody sues any company, you cannot sue any, any company. You have to attach the people. For the people. <laughs> <laughs> that's the irony of life. Yeah. And that's improved over the course of time, mm. I have realized mm. that if he is aesthetically or creatively bent, maybe he's got a phenomenal sense of aesthetics, mm. but he loves a good song. He loves looking at paintings. But how will I know yeah. that he's design bent? Yeah. So I have started trialing mm. this out. So far I have not, I wouldn't say, so far I have been okay for the last few years. Mm. Before TCG I did that with, when I was building Tata Click yeah. and Tata New and all of those Tata ka. Uh, internet companies prior to that um, when I was 
building Accenture Digital. Day zero, I was employee one, founding member. I always thought that design sense, you don't have to be a master of design, mm. but you have to be design yeah. aesthetic. You should, you should at least know that, you know, you look good wearing pink. Correct. You have, you have to have an appreciation. You have an appreciation mm. for design. You that don't have to be a guru. You don't have to be yeah. a guru. There are gurus like yeah. Saurav is a guru. <laughs> I will come to Saurav for that wisdom yeah. and knowledge. But if I have to get that guy to s build a build a great 400 stores mm. of lifestyle or electronics, I need the store manager to be design mm. friendly. Or else how can he keep a red Xiaomi phone against a yellow Xiaomi mm. phone? Then it has to have a white background. So those are day to day stuff. Wow. What has been the toughest part of building the digital platform at TCG for you over the last year or so? Uh, I have a very simple answer for this. It's still tough. <laughs> building a business is the most exciting thing of my life and taking it to a level where it starts to see value and revenue yeah. and impacting people is important. But building a business, the zero to hundred journey is always well, tough. tough. It's actually whether you, to, whether you should do it or not. Mm. So you just Always that of, question. Yeah, right? should I do it or not? Mm. Because you're going to put everything aside yeah. and you're going to put everything on you of your life in doing this. Secondly, will it become a purpose in life? Mm. Interesting. If it's not a purpose of life, if it's just doing it for glory, wow. money, na ham leke jayenge ghar, <laughs> na leke jayenge paisa. <laughs> what will is important is the journey to building yeah. the business. The profitability is an output metric. The input metric is the journey. Mm. You will fail. The idea will not work. Nobody is going to download your app. Nobody is going to come into your store and buy the first mm. SKU you will face days, weeks of zero adoption. Mm. You have to be calm and patient yeah. about it. And you have to keep on experimenting in small, small, small things. Mm. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Okay, this is not working. Let's try this. Constant experiment, constant resilience, mm. and constant have a great sleep. <laughs> knowing, that, knowing that you are on that path. Yeah. And you have to be okay. If it doesn't work, it yeah. doesn't work. You have to decide mm. and you have to know that enough is enough. Mm. I have to do something else. Or mm. I think I need to give one more year. I think it will pivot. Yeah. You have to be a little bit more mm. risk and maturity mixed mode. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're an entrepreneur. Yeah. I'm <laughs> sure this yeah. is everything. I, I, I resonate that with uh, completely 100%. And you have to be calm actually yeah. a little bit. When you, are do, when you are an entrepreneur at the age of 20, Four, which I was, and when I'm an entrepreneur at the age of 48, uh, ignore the white beard. But when I'm an entrepreneur <laughs> at the age of 48, it's a very different because then I've got sal yeah. kid school fees, I've got a family to feed. Uh, then your risk appetite, you have to do measured risk mm. appetite. It's like a Surya Kumar Yadav. Mm. After you hit thousand scoops on your leg side, <laughs> he is more or less certain that he will go out of it. Or else. He practices that. Yeah. He literally what a great shot that is. What a great invention. <laughs> he's, he's mastered it better than yeah, ABD Williams. Yeah, yeah. But the fact is he does it 500 balls every day. Yeah. Here in Matunga Nyumkhana. Really? When he's off season, he's doing it here. He's a Bombay <laughs> boy. But that's the precision. You have to practice, practice, practice. At this age, you know that you are playing a calculated gamble. Mm. And you're mitigating as much risk as possible mm. with every month. Mm. That is important. So I guess what you're saying is knowing what cards you have been dealt and in some cases deciding whether you should play the hand or fold. Yeah. That's and, I guess and, the toughest and, call. Yeah, right? I think that's the right way to put it. You, you mm. put it absolutely perfectly. I'll just add one line to that is know your don'ts more than your do's. Mm. Know your don'ts more than the ones you want to do. Wow. Because do's will be in one or yeah. two things you want to do. Yeah. And less is more. Less is more. Do less. Focus on that. Make the business. Mm. Businesses are never built on days. Instagram ka real to hai nahi. Mm. Business will take days, weeks, months, yeah. years. 
and if you're looking to play this game and make it profitable mm -hmm. you have to be calm but your conviction levels have to be that i'm going to build a world class yeah. business you cannot say that with a nano local attitude think you have to build a world class mm -hmm. business shoy one of the things i've noticed about you 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 bring a lot of passion to whatever you do and it's really infectious it's inspiring um it got the best out of us you know you are a phenomenal <laughs> Thank you, Shovik. So, I guess I want to wrap up by asking you, you know, of course, you know, you are able to get through with all this passion and conviction. But I'm sure there are times when uh, the stuff you're trying to do doesn't make headway. So, no. I call this question unpopular opinion, yes. right? So, are there things or what's the one opinion that tends to be unpopular when you put it across in the boardroom or whether you put it across in you know with your team like the one thing that you truly believe in that tends you tend to have a hard time selling before that there is a practice i have i have been having most of my life i am a huge believer of passionately love interrogating myself mm interesting it's not overthinking passionately love interrogating myself means sort of am i doing the right thing let me let me interrogate mm. all the pros and cons am i doing the wrong thing i might be doing the wrong thing which ultimately might 1 might million people be will right. be yeah. i might be saying that give me this much amount of funds which is an absolutely ridiculous ask that is not right for today the minute mm. but it if it works it might impact yeah. 100 million lives yeah. i faced it when i was building jio mm. i faced it when i was building the click story i mm. faced it when i was building the tata digital story today i today i think the most important thing which i take it to a boardroom knowing that it will get questioned is have i done my research enough mm. have i taken the micro unit economics may nobody will be able to oh, am i yeah. good in my prep they should not be able to poke holes in that bhale hi mai char four things i know wo char cheez mein nobody should be able to take in those four things i should be the best in the world wow. i mujhe 40 cheeze malum nahi hai and i'm okay with that wo char cheez mein leke na i will work like a raging bull in that 12 round mm. fight wo char hi hai mere paas Yeah, with a you know Bruce Lee said right. Did it? I'm not afraid of the guy who knows a thousand kicks, but well, the, the guy kick. who yeah, yeah, practices yeah, 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 one yeah, kick yeah, yeah. a thousand times. Yeah, I mean it's weird <laughs> because we, I think we both are Bruce Lee fans. <laughs> but I think know your subject, mm. know your limitations, mm. passion show karo, pheko mat, <laughs> which nice. is what today's Americans have yeah. become a bad habit of that. Yeah. Indians fake it till you make it fake it till you make that, it blah 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 all the work kind of uh, rubbish know. beauty is no for show passion about that for mm. shout you know mm. behave like a iron man for your team mm. but don't sit you know 6 7 8 don't yeah. pretend to know 6 7 8 it's Best, okay to say i don't know for the rest it's okay to say to a great set of senior folks i don't know i'll come back to you mm. give me 3 days or give me a week or give me two months let me experiment the model i will come back to you i will tell you update you on a regular basis constant communication helps and it's good to say no yaar mm. they are not expecting you to know everything <laughs> they are only going to poke holes ki aapne have you thought of this have you thought of that have you thought of this and out of i'm going to use that chovik that's such yeah, it's, great it's advice and i have learned something over the years is soulful honesty and transparency you know na if i am mm. if i have done something unethical mm. i know in my yeah. head it is better to say it mm. at least tell your wife tell your father mm. you remain clean maybe you had to do it for some reason mm. but if you are absolutely honest about any actions because you are taking a business mm. decision in business context you're taking a marketing decision you're mm. taking a sales decision you're taking a technology decision aapke paas paisa itna hai aapko paisa itna banana hai ye constantly har minute mein hamare dimag mein chalta rehta hai and that's the beauty of so that authenticity is really important ha wo authenticity real hai 
what the, and I'm realizing more and more I'm speaking to today's generation entrepreneurs, people like our generation, they are thriving on honesty, intellectual yeah. honesty, what Sid says, I love that cultural tenet, soulful transparency. Mm. Because at the end of the day, you will not be able to make a profitable business. Profitable business tab banega jab every mm. customer of India will actually adopt. There are many case studies. Wo thousand of, people yeah. customer hoi, I, I, das lakh customer yeah. ho aapka. And you actually sometimes don't need 10 lakh or 50 lakh or yeah. 10 crore customers. Yeah. You need 5 crore loyal yeah, customers. Absolutely. It's a journey is the best part. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I have started enjoying the journey from a very long time, I say output result is not sometimes in your hand. But if the journey is honest, <laughs> you would not regret saying that those five years I wasted. You have learnt a lot. Wow. Profitability will, profitability will become easier because I have been part of listed organizations. Profitable IPO organizations, stock market is booming. 12 months, the stock is down. Business is doing okay. But the stock is down because of something else. Yeah. So how do you sleep? Yeah, I have to go and play football with my 13 <laughs> and 9 year old. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. is very important. Yeah. So you cannot solve every every problem. Take four things, usi pe no. thrive and become better. And that four, you fight. You become better and better. Love it. Shovik, I'm so inspired by yeah, this. I am always <laughs> inspired talking to you whenever I meet you. I have taken a lot of your time today. Thank you so much again for coming. Thanks, Saurav. It's been, a, been pleasure. a phenomenal conversation. I will call you again because I'm always here I think you. there are a million design stories there I want to tap into. Done. And I think if we want to make India a design first country, we need um, to. you know, I think we need to put more of your messaging out there for corporate CEOs, for people who are building new startups. This culture that I have seen you build in TCG would be a dream come true, really, to see other organizations. You know, let's take a take pledge. Time. We should build a community of design the first thinkers. Apps, wow. I love design that. first thinking CEOs yes. should be a community sort of. Let's you do should, that. You should evangelize. I'll, let's, I'll be let's part of that. 100%. We'll power I love that. that. I love that. And we'll do meetups and yes, we'll, we should. We'll push that agenda. Yeah. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Bob.